malicious arrest by Dorset Police. On the 13th of February 2008, I'm moving house when I'm approached by two plain closed Norfolk cops. DC Twist, a female cop, states I am causing my ex-wife, her two daughters, great alarm, harassment and distress. Uh, so what? I'm not breaking any law. Twist hands me a scruffy piece of paper, which I read. Advice, your actions against Sheila Colton, Fleur Thompson and Tracy Gore. Dear Mr. James Colton, your websites involving Sheila Colton, Fleur Thompson, and Tracy Gore are causing them great alarm, harassment, and distress. Any content that is considered to commit a criminal offense may well lead to legal proceedings being taken against you. In the event of such action being taken, this letter may be produced in evidence. Further to this, we advise you to have no contact with the above named people save through a solicitor in the case of any unwanted contact police may consider taking harassment proceedings the owner of the website space has been notified and the site will be monitored i hadn't committed any crime so why should i not continue exposing the truth it was dc twists acting like a gunslinger threatening me with a contorted face Six months later, Norfolk cops raid my apartment, grabbing my computer, video camera and other stuff, then hauling me off to Norwich Police Station under the charge of harassment. Here I wait for two Dorset cops to arrive from Bournemouth. What I didn't know at the time was Norfolk and Dorset Police were acting unlawfully. Harassment is a summary offence only meaning the police had no authority to seize my property. I have no idea why Norfolk Police supported this malicious arrest, as they have always, as far as I'm concerned, been professional and helpful. However, Dorset Police are a breed of crooks who see themselves above the law. 4. It shall be a defence to any action of harassment to show that the course of conduct complained of b was pursued for the purpose of preventing or detecting crime my ex-wife and her two daughters and others had lied at my divorce hearing therefore committing perjury september 2007 Defendant opens UK website, containing derogatory material, relating to Sheelock, Tracy and Fleur. 11th, October, 2007 Initial contact by Tracy Gore, in relation to harassment by her ex-stepfather, James Colton, on the website. DV record 07-5504 refers. Record states, that TG has told DC Spencer about sexual abuse. Investigations include closing down English website. Late 2007. Defendant opens American website containing same material which police are unable to close down. February 2008. Harassment letter sent to defendant reuse of website. 19th of June 2008. Defendant arrested by Dorset officers for offense of harassment. Nineth of July, 2008. Crown prosecution charging decision, MG3, from Mr. Duffy, stating that harassment case will not be proceeded with as a criminal investigation. 21st of July, 2008. Tracy Gore appeals against CPS decision, re-harassment case by way of letter of chronology, and this is dealt with by Chief Crown Prosecutor John Montague. There are two points here. John Montague refused to prosecute me for the harassment charges for reasons already stated. The second point, Tracy Gore 
had told PC Spencer about the alleged sexual abuse, which I disproved at my divorce hearing. Therefore, it wasn't even considered at this time. But, having failed in their harassment fiasco, Dorset Police took sinister steps to get me. September 29, 2008 DC Starkin and Spencer meet with John Montague to discuss the investigation to date. It is decided that the best chance of a successful prosecution is to ask both Tracy Gore and Fleur Thompson to pursue complaints of sexual abuse by their stepfather. Again, John Montague refused to prosecute me, refused to prosecute me, refused to prosecute me. They went over Montague's head to this woman, Kate Brown. She overruled John Montague. Even so, my wife and her two daughters refused to bring charges against me. They couldn't because of the lies they had told at my divorce. 13 Dorset Police Crime Report C08C 30309 Details report of sexual assault on Tracy Gore and subsequent dealings with her, Fleur Thompson, Sheila Hagen. All actions in relation to this investigation detailed on crime. Edited for personal details only, Dorset Police, Computer System. May assist defense. This floored the police. What the hell now? Meetings were arranged with the Crown Prosecution, Bournemouth Crown Court judges, to figure out a way forward. What they came up with was this. Kate Brown would overrule John Montague while the trial judge would withhold all affidavits plus make sure that any reference I would make to the affidavits in my police statement would be removed also making sure that the lawyers, defence lawyers included would not question the witnesses on the withheld evidence the plan was put into operation and I was arrested having made a number of complaints this plan was uncovered. So what started as a malicious arrest from a trumped up charge of harassment turned into one of the most disturbing cases in English corruption of the courts. Dorset police continue with their corrupt practices to this day as seen here. Hello. Hello. I have a warrant. Premises. Search your premises. What for? Search it. Miss Andrew Gill, you are under arrest. Harassment. Harassment. Yeah, it may, you do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you do not mention, when questioned, something which relates to the court. Excuse me, who's the arrest? You do say maybe given evidence. Your arrest, if you could just listen, your arrest is necessary to prompt an effective investigation to protect vulnerable persons and prevent further offences. The time by my watch. Is now 9.32. Do you understand? I'm PC Bouncefield. Yeah, I know you are. Who's okay. the arrest? Just listen. Who's this girl? This girl. My name is PC. I thought I was going to say doctors today. Okay. Is there anything but anything about your defence if you do not mention or question something which relates to our own court? Anything you do say may be given in evidence. Okay. This is the warrant. Mm. Okay. So. Bill, you're under arrest, sir. Put that down. No, Put that down, sir. Could you use his weapon? Put it down, please. Put it down, sir, please. No, Mr. Gill, don't assault me. Put the camera down. You're under arrest, sir. Mr. Gill, put the camera down, sir. You're under arrest. Mr. Gill, calm down. There's no need for this. Thank you very much. No, sir, okay? Is it turned off? Is that turned off? Eh? Is this turned off? Well, what are you? Sir? Your camera, eh? You're under arrest, sir. Calm down, okay? Get this matter sorted out nice and peacefully, okay? Calm down, I'm not even worried. Okay, this is an interview with Mrs. Dawn Gill in relation to a malicious prosecution by Dorset Police where they spent tens of thousands of pounds uh, on three court hearings on a case that didn't even meet the CPS threshold. Okay. Very short, there was a illegal entry into your home on an illegally issued search warrant. So basically what happened was um, they came in here on a search warrant for harassment which is a summary offence that you cannot issue a search warrant for. So the search warrant was an illegal warrant. 
Oh, you seized your garden, though. Is that right? Ah, Pinocchio. And a statue of Pinocchio, an antique statue of Pinocchio. Uh -huh. And then they arrested you at that time for harassment. Yes. But then when you got to the police station, they realised they made a mistake. They realised they dropped the bullet because you cannot, uh, you cannot get a search warrant for harassment. It's got to be an indictable offence. And so they upgraded it then, the charge, when they did finally charge you, which they never did officially or properly, but they claimed to have charged you then with stalking. <laughs> yeah, because stalking, so they, they've arrested you for harassment. They got a search warrant for harassment, which they can't get a search warrant for legally. So it was an illegal arrest and it was an illegal search warrant. Which it's untrue as well. Yeah, but that's why the case against you collapsed and was thrown out in court. And then this, uh, the charging officer, which is a, a Inspector A. Bird, he then charges you with stalking. But he never formally charged you. You were never taken to the desk. No, no, no. And you were never given a charge.